State Championship Saturday. Hardware on the line. There's nets to be cut down across girls basketball. We'll start with the only Lincoln school in a final today, the Lincoln Christian Crusaders. Facing Sydney in the C1 Championship, LCS looking for their first title in seven years. First half, it's Jesha Huger to Macy Pittinger. Pittinger drills the three. It's an early seven-point Sater lead. The Lady Raiders respond. Katie Ramsey, perfect pass to Ryan Dilhay for two. Sydney trailed by seven at the break. Second half, it's more good passing. This time, Lincoln Christian. Hoosier to Ken Ailes for an easy deuce. The Sater lead grows. Next, it's Jessa keeping it herself. Watch the drive. The floater game's on point. LCS up 14. Down the stretch, Maddie Castlebaum led the way from the charity stripe. She scores 15 points, all free throws. As Lincoln Christian captures their third ever state title, defeating Sydney 38 to 26 for the Class C1 crown. What a season for the Crusaders. We're all so excited. It's just incredible. After the last year, we we were none of us like losing, so we were all um, committed to getting better, and so it just feels nice to accomplish that. It means everything. Just having everyone in the stands cheering us on, just giving us like motivation and helping us get on those runs. It's just awesome. Every single one of them said that their goal was to be the last team standing, and the amount of hours and gym time, I'm just pretty fortunate to just come along for the ride. It's her final game for Elkhorn North, but not the final time playing at PBA. Brett Prince and the Wolves look to win their fourth straight state title this afternoon. Facing Omaha Scott, this one was a good one. The only loss of the season for Elkhorn for the Skyhawks was to Elkhorn North. We jump to the fourth quarter, tie ball game, Prince operating, the pull up falls, and the Wolves have a narrow lead. Scott responds, less than a minute to play in the game. Peyton McCabe from the corner, it's a tie ball game. Elkhorn North, though, would hit clutch free throws with 10 seconds to play, and Prince and the Wolves win their fourth, yes, fourth straight state title. Just awesome, just being able to do it with this group of girls, and um, it's something that's really hard to do. Here's a look at the other games this afternoon. In Class A, it comes down to the wire, and Millard West mounts a comeback to capture their first ever state title. And in Class C2, UTAN takes it over Crofton. In Class D1, Southern Valley in their first ever state title game, facing defending champs of Class C2, Pender. The Pender Dragons now playing in Class D1. Second half, Eagles trailing and Bose off the window for two. Southern Valley cuts the deficit to seven, but the Penn Dragons don't back down. Quick passes and Maya Dolliver connects from the corner. She scores a game high 16 as Pender repeats or wins the D1 championship. Final game of the day in the girl and of the girls basketball season. Class D2 Overton facing why not? Ball would find Daisy Ryan in the corner. The three is pure, one of her three triples on the day. Overton with an early lead. But for the Eagles, why not could not stop Natalie Wood. She finishes with 14 points and 23 rebounds as Overton wins the Class D2 title.